The centers of galaxies contain supermassive black holes, rips in the fabric of space-time that nothing can escape from, not even light itself. These giant black holes, which have masses millions of times greater than that of our own sun, are central players in astrophysics, controlling the evolution of the galaxies they live in. However, their origins remain unknown because they're intrinsically challenging objects for astronomers to study. How do you look at the light coming from something as dark as a black hole? A new and powerful tool for understanding supermassive black holes are tidal disruption events. These events are dramatic flares of light produced when unlucky stars come too close to a black hole and are ripped apart by its gravitational pull. As the stellar debris returns to the black hole, a complex chain of events begin, producing a flash of light that can be seen from half away across the universe. Most importantly, how do these events generate the light that we see? This problem is too complicated to solve with pen and paper mathematics, and computer simulations have until recently been too expensive. Very recently, we published in Nature the first ever realistic simulation of a tidal disruption event. We used a new type of simulation code to model the death of the star, from the moment it was ripped apart up to the brightest moments in the resulting flare. As the gas from the disruptive star returns to the black hole, it moves supersonically and generates shock waves like sonic booms produced by airplanes crossing the sand barrier. These shocks heat the stellar gas, causing it to become brighter and emit huge amounts of optical and UV radiation, solving the mystery of why these flares are so bright. We're now running more computer simulations to understand the connection between brightness and the mass of the underlying black hole. By using these flares to measure black hole masses, astronomers may finally be able to understand where black holes came from in the first place.